Wolf Parkinson White syndrome can manifest with several different findings on the ECG, the most classic of which is the delta wave. But there is something else I'd like to discuss first. Take a look at the PR interval. In Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, an accessory pathway bypasses the AV node and results in an early onset of ventricular depolarization, also known as pre-excitation. The lack of AV nodal delay is reflected on the ECG by a short PR interval, with a duration of less than 120 milliseconds. So essentially, because of pre-excitation, the QRS complex appears sooner than usual. Early depolarization of the ventricles occurs outside of the conduction system, that is, via slow muscle fiber to muscle fiber conduction, which results in a slurred upstroke of the QRS complex. This slurring of the QRS complex is referred to as a delta wave, the classic sign of Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Also note how the QRS complex is wide. That's because it is a composite of ventricular activation via both the bypass tract and the AV node. The initial portion of the QRS complex, the delta wave, is the result of a barren ventricular depolarization via the accessory pathway, while the terminal portion reflects normal ventricular depolarization via the AV node. Now the keen ECG aficionado may have noticed that this is a type E pattern due to a right-sided bypass tract. The deep S wave in lead V1 indicates right-to-left-sided conduction. Ventricular depolarization begins in the right side of the heart and then spreads to the left. A couple pitfalls to keep in mind are that the ECG correlates of Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome may not be present during sinus rhythm and can also vary from day to day. As well, the Wolf-Parkinson-White pattern can mask the findings that can occur with myocardial ischemia or infarction and other pathologies. Now before going on to look at a few more ECGs, let's review the common findings of Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. A short PR interval, the delta wave, and QRS prolongation. All of the following ECGs are Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, so do try to look for these findings on your own. I hope you found this lecture to be helpful and worth your time. Please feel free and very welcome to leave a comment or suggestion below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this channel.